Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And we have live coverage from the J1 League coming right up for you. It's Sagan Tosu versus Yokohama FC. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Always my favourite time of the week, spending time with you at games. Wish you'll be in for a belter here with these two. Well, if we run the rule over the defences, we come to the conclusion that there really can only be one winner. Best defence in the league versus the worst defence in the league. How do you see it, Lee? Well, Derek, I'm trying to build a case for the visitors, but there's too much evidence against them. It's all pointing to a drubbing of large magnitude. Hold on to your hats. And the lineup for the home side. It looks like a conventional 4 4 2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Oh, a nice looking pass. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, here it is again. It's a lovely ball behind, perfectly timed. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. And he read it superbly. And a throw in it's going to be. Doing well to keep possession. And they are on the move again. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Keeper did his job to begin with. And a time for calm on the ball. Oh, great vision. And he could cash in. And it's come off the keeper. Well, he's given a corner, their referee. <laughs> 
taken short. The goal seemed to be at his mercy, but defenders don't always have to touch the ball to have an influence. No, it's that pressure that comes from the defender that makes him hurry his shot. Close. Fruitful looking attack and a decent delivery. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Can they get in behind them? Very alert defending to cut off the supply. And space here on the flank. Now he must favour the cross. And what can they do to stop him running at them? And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. Well, they couldn't keep it. Oh, showing good patience. Disappointing pass. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Effective looking pass. It might be on for them. And super tackle and they've won possession. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. This looks promising. Not to be in terms of the cross there. Goal kick coming up. That is that for the first half here. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. Well, it's one pass after another. Ogawa. Chance to cross. And the emphasis is on creativity. Can he make it count? Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it.
Ogawa. It looks promising. And the decision is one of offside here. Well, they've decided to make a change. Too many things wrong about that effort. Oh, everything was wrong about it. Body shape, positioning, the idea of where he was going to put the ball. It was all going wrong. It's a poor attempt, really, for him. He's using his strength to good effect. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Pure ball control. Offside by a fraction. Still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. He could pick out a teammate, but nicely executed defensively. Can they get in behind them? Crisp tackling. Now can they counter clinically? Losing possession a bit easily. In behind for him to chase. Well, they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. Well, that's as good as a goal at the other end. Brilliant save from the keeper. And he's fired over the corner. A goal! Sheer excitement! And again here! Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent set piece. And I bet he can't believe the time and space he's got to simply nod the ball into the net. No jump needed. Too easy. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Just 10 minutes to go. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. Space and time for the cross, but nothing to worry about. It's opening up for them. Well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside.
They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And possession given away. Looks promising this. A chance to whip it in. However, nothing comes of it. And dealt with that ball comfortably. And just the one minute left in normal time here. And that is the whistle for the end of the 90. Nothing at all to separate these two.